Studio headphones are designed for mixing and mastering, built to be neutral, honest, and yeah, sometimes a little boring. Audiophile headphones, on the other hand, are totally different. They are meant to sound pleasing, emotional, and fun. But can a studio headphone, like the Olo Audio X1, actually do both? And is it real hi-fi? Please leave a like and let's get to it. From the moment you open the box, it's clear that Olo Audio X1 isn't your average pair of headphones. Everything about the X1 feels purposeful, from the materials to the way it's built. From the moment you pick it up, you get that reassuring heft. At just over 400 grams, it's not exactly lightweight, but it does not feel bulky either. That weight is very well distributed, and the headband is doing a great job of preventing any hotspots from happening. Speaking of the headband, it's made of solid, painted steel, with a self-adjusting suspension strap underneath that uses elastic bands to gently contour to your head. The ear caps are where things really, really stand out. Each one is machined from real wood. Not a plastic veneer, not a painted finish, but actual, beautifully crafted wood. It adds character, warmth, and most importantly, durability. The finish is smooth, but not flashy. Now onto the pads. These are hybrid pads using a combination of two materials. Velour on the contact surface for comfort and breathability, and perforated leather on the inner and outer rings. These help to control acoustics. The memory foam inside is firm but forgiving, and they are deep enough to avoid any contact to your ear for most people. The fit is snug and the clamp force is on the tighter side. If you are used to looser fitting audiophile cans, this might take a little getting used to, but once they settle in, they stay put and do their job very well. The pads are also user replaceable, not just in theory, but in a way that actually makes sense. The whole headphone follows this philosophy. Modular, repairable, and service-friendly. That's basically unheard of at this price, or honestly, in headphones in general. The X1 also comes with a very sturdy carrying case. This isn't just a soft pouch or something you'll toss in a drawer. It is a molded, semi-rigid case with a handle designed to actually protect your gear. Inside, it has room for the headphones and the included cable, which is 2 meters long and is terminated with a standard 3.5 mm plug. You also get an extra quarter inch adapter in the box. It's a dual 2.5 mm connection at the caps with locking connectors that feel super secure. There is also a forward angle to the cable entry, so it hangs more naturally. As for day-to-day -day comfort, it's solid. Not luxurious, but functional, stable, and ergonomic. What's something unique here that you don't get in any audiophile grade headphones is the tech. First of all, we have the USC2 technology, which is a unit-specific calibration system. Every single pair of the X1s is individually tested and calibrated using a detailed AI-assisted process. This ensures that each unit follows the same flat response curve with incredibly tight tolerances, typically within plus or minus 1 dB. That's tighter than what many big-name calibration plugins can do, and you don't need any third-party software to get there. Please subscribe to my channel if you're still watching. You can run the calibration as a plugin on your DAW, or apply it directly as EQ values to your DSP-enabled audio interface or analog gear. It's a system fully compatible with almost everything. And for producers working in immersive audio, the X1 can switch into spatial mixing mode. It's complete with a binaural profile and even the popular Harman curve. 
so you can cross-check your mix against more consumer-tuned references. All of this makes the X1 not only a reliable monitor, but a full mixing ecosystem you can trust, and it allows you to tinker with it for audio enjoyment in hi-fi setups. The X1 is an open back over your headphone with a 50mm dynamic driver, which is running on neodymium magnets and a proprietary composite membrane made of PU and PET. That gives you a fast response, clean mids, and a well-controlled low end, essential for critical work. It has an impedance of 32 ohms which makes it super easy to drive. Whether you're plugging into a high-end interface or just your laptop, you will get plenty of volume and detail. Frequency response, 5 Hz to 22 kHz, and that's with an incredibly tight tuning tolerance. You're getting full spectrum accuracy, from sub-bass to the uppermost harmonics. Sensitivity sits at 101 dB SPL at 1 kHz. So again, no power-hungry nonsense here. You won't need a dedicated headphone amp unless you really want one. In terms of distortion, the X1 maintains less than 0.05% THD at 94 dB, which is very, very clean. First and foremost, it sounds correct. That's a good start. The Odo Audio X1 doesn't color, hype, or sweeten the music. It just shows you what's there. The tonal balance is incredibly flat, so what you hear is consistent and true to the original mix. There is no boosted bass, no scooped mids, and no splashy highs. It's as neutral as a headphone can get but it doesn't sound dry or sterile. You can call it boring, but is it really? Let me know in the comments down below whether you think neutral gear sounds dull. The bass is tight and quick. It reaches pretty deep without sounding bloated or soft. You can clearly tell the sub from the mid bass and the control here gives you real insight into the low end and especially into the way it was built. There is weight when needed, but never boominess. The mid-range is natural and unforced. Vocals, instruments, ambient cues, everything feels like it belongs in a mix. Nothing is pushed forward, nothing buried. You just hear the music as it was intended. In the treble, the X1 stays smooth and refined. There is enough extension to catch air and texture, but without any harshness. That balance is rare, especially for something in this price range. You don't get a huge, cavernous space, but the placement is precise, and there is a real sense of depth to it. So we're not just talking left and right, but slightly front to back too. It doesn't exaggerate things, it just presents them with honesty. Dynamics feel alive. The X1 is rather quick to react to transients, but it never does it in an aggressive way. Detail retrieval is subtle, but satisfying. You'll catch fades, reverbs, all the micro stuff, but the headphone doesn't scream look at this. Compared to something like the Biodynamic DT990, the difference is big. The DT990 often gets recommended for mixing, but it's aggressively bright. It can make you chase problems in a track that don't exist anywhere else. For hi-fi listening, it's even more of an issue. Sharp treble, unnatural tone, and limited technical ability. It might sound flashy at first, but that gets old pretty fast. The X1 avoids all that. Whether you're mixing, listening critically, or just enjoying your favorite album, the X1 gives you a version of the music that's honest and deeply listenable. It doesn't flatter, it just delivers. Whether it's the sound you want, it's obviously up to you.